I'm starting off my dogwood flower with a spiral trellis stitch and if you have watched any of my other bouquet sampler videos or if you stitch them, you should be very familiar with this stitch. It's one of my favorites to use for filling the middle of a flower. So to begin the spiral trellis stitch, I'm going to start with a back stitch around the center. I'm using six strands of embroidery thread with the size 22 chenille needle. But if you are unfamiliar with this stitch, I definitely recommend checking out my beginner tutorial on it. I'll link it above, so go ahead and check that out before you get started if you're just starting out with this stitch. Now I'm going to fill in the stripes on each petal and for that I'm using a size 5 embroidery needle with two strands of a darker pink embroidery thread and I'm using a back stitch to fill in these stripes.
Now that my stripes are filled in, I've switched to a size 10 embroidery needle with two strands of a lighter pink thread, and I'm using a satin stitch to fill in the remainder of each petal. Now this is a little bit tricky because of all of the stripes that we've already filled in, so we're doing our satin stitching around the stripes. We want to make sure that they're still visible, so we're going to stitch in a way that will allow the stripes to be showing through while also filling in the rest of the shape. So that means we'll have to keep in mind the angle of our satin stitching. It's not all going to be the same angle for each flower petal. That makes sense, and I don't know how to explain that other than to show you, so I'll do that now.
And there's our dog with flower. Thank you for joining me today. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Thank you guys.